Tonight, new technology being tested at CU Anschutz could change the lives of millions of children and adults who are living with diabetes. Doctors at the Barbara Davis Center are testing what they are calling an artificial pancreas, and it could make living with the disease a lot easier. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart gives us a look at how it works. And, and for children living with diabetes, the simple stuff like playing sports can be a struggle. Yet new technology using a smartphone, of all things, could be revolutionary and life changing. One, One, two, three, Frisbee on football! It's the start of a game fueled by skill and science. Hypo alert. On the field, 11 year old Aiden gets an alert. His blood sugar may be too low. He is a type 1 diabetic. The warning is triggered by a cutting edge setup. It's known as an artificial pancreas. Right now, doctors and engineers are testing this system to reduce the number of times a day diabetics like Aiden test their blood. I waste probably like 30 minutes a day normally testing blood. The artificial pancreas uses a sensor system to help keep sugar levels under control. The technology allows children with type 1 diabetes to maintain their blood sugar in a very narrow range. So if you start to go too high, it gives you a little more insulin. If you start to go too low, it gives you a little less insulin. This is high tech. Parents can simply touch their phone and find out their kid's blood sugar from anywhere in the world if it's too high or too low. Go. For young athletes like Aiden. I play lacrosse and ultimate frisbee. The new technology could be game changing. If this thinks I'm going low, it'll do it automatically inst instead of me having to like go to the sidelines or something to correct it myself. Nice. Ow. Ow. A high tech innovation to help make childhood artificial pancreas picture perfect. <laughs> Right now, clinical trials are still taking place, and it may take years for government approval. But, and the hopes are high. Life for children living with diabetes will one day be easy. That is fascinating. Thank you, Mark. This could also be money saving, too. With the possibility, possibility of less testing, families could save money because they won't have to spend as much on supplies.